Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. What messages do you have for the collective? Also, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Woo, all right. First card out we have is Union 11. Our love is eternal. It exists in every dimension and cannot be lost. This is a very beautiful energy coming out, right? Just to start off the gate. And this is really about, um, I feel like a soul partnership, a soul connection. Even if you and this person are distances away, because you can see these two people are on, there's something in between them where it's they're not completely connected yet. However, their soul is connected. And this is something that can't be lost. It doesn't matter if you guys are different, whatever the obstacles are, whatever the boundaries are, this is a union that's meant to come into fruition. This is a union that's meant to ground one another. And also what I'm getting with this card is, despite the differences or even despite whatever obstacles need to be overcome in this situation, the obstacles aren't as large as they seem. You can see here, are they separated? Yes, but the separation between the two isn't as large as they think. So I feel very, very strongly here that your person is kind of sitting here and thinking about your love. I think that this person has really had to go deep. I think that they've had to have a level of self-examination and ask themselves, why am I not giving? Why am I not giving my entire self to my person? What exactly is the void? And with this void or with whatever this person is trying to understand about themselves, right? It's allowing them the ability of self-reflection. For some of you guys, you may feel like almost your person is disconnected or there's something here where you don't feel as attached to this person or you don't feel their energy as consistently, but that's not that's not what's really going on. What's really happening is that this person is definitely in deep thought right now. And they're really trying to understand exactly what the situation is because they feel like they're never going to stop loving you. This is a situation where they know they love you. They think about you all the time. Mirrors is here. Here's another 11. 11, 11 may be significant, but also too, 11, 11 is the gates of heaven. This is a divine partnership. Being mirrors for each other makes self-love so important. I wish I was there to love you, but if I'm not, I want you to love and nurture yourself. So again, I feel like this is divine coming and saying you and this person are mirroring one another. Those deep feelings that you're having, that longing, that wanting to be together, you know, feeling like the two of you guys are meant to be, like this person is feeling that too, but I also feel like too with this person, <clears throat> they may be having a lot of roadblocks that are coming up, right? Where this person needs time to regroup and adjust and fix whatever challenges that are keeping them stuck or paralyzed. But again, I saw over here that there is a small obstacle, but I also think perception is key, right? We can look at things however we want and with this person, they're hoping that no matter what they're going through, that you're continuing your journey, that you're continuing to invest in yourself because when you invest in yourself, you also invest in your partner. I feel like with this person, they always feel like they take one step forward with you and two steps backwards. And this person is really daydreaming and wishing and feeling like they want to be there for you. But they're trying, I just get like, I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. Like I'm trying to be able to get everything together so that when I come to you and I express to you exactly what's going on, you're going to understand it. And for some of them, I feel like there's a lot that they've needed to say that they've stopped themselves from saying. Wow, look at this, another 11. When I look into your eyes, I see the universe and it activates me. There's something about you that's very different. It's almost coming off as very magical. And I think that in the beginning with this person, because they, they've never felt an energy like yours before, it's almost like they discredited it. There was always something that was wrong with your, with your energy. But what they're realizing here with this 11, 11, 11, you brought a sense of harmony to their life. There's something about you where you have this beautiful level of refinement. 
this person views you as a, as a goddess or a god. This is somebody who knows that you are as good as it gets. Like that they're never going to find another person like you. But this is something that this person had to learn over a period of time. Because over a period of time, whoever this person has dealt with, their friends, their family, whatever, they realize that your soul had this sense of purity. That you had the ability to draw out the purity in them as well. Like you, you work as this filter for this person. It's, it, it's very beautiful. It's like you've cultivated this new aspect of them and the old aspect is dead and gone. This is about this person really, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're in a place where things in their life are beginning to dismantle, right? They're beginning to dispose or remove people, places and things that do not belong for some of them, they may have gone through somebody passing away or somebody may be coming up to pass away. There's some type of change of state with this person where whatever is going to happen in the near future, it's really going to have this person tap into a completely different energy. And something in particular that you've said to them or even that you've telepathically communicated, this person is getting ready to become aware of. I'm tired of being away from you physically. I'm trying to process my fears so I can come back to you. See, you're all this person thinks about, right? But this person may be at a distance. See, in, in, in the past, I feel like your person's in a very romantic type of energy. This is a very whimsical energy. This is an energy where this person can't stop thinking about you. This is an energy where this person is tired of making themselves be physically away from you. So a lot of the collective will say, well, if they want to be with me, then why are they not with me, right? If you love me, then why are you not saying it? Because it's different for everybody. And I think that that's something that I've um, learned over this period of time, even working with you guys, right? And the readings you book and the people that I talk to, a lot of times people will be deeply in love with somebody, but not open up and express it they'll be deeply in love with somebody and purposely keep their distance. Why? It's because they're, the way that they view things, their perception is what's holding them back. But this person is getting to a place where they're tired of the mundane. They're tired of the constant, right? They're tired of this Four of Pentacles energy where there's always a reason or always an excuse that's holding them back from living in their true authentic self or living their true authentic life. This person has a lot of fears about this connection. And I think it's because you have a certain hold over this person, your energy, like they know that if they give to you, right, wholeheartedly, the way that you've given to them, and because you have a much more elevated energy, your frequency is a lot higher. Because your frequency is higher, your ability to give and to love is different than theirs. But they understand for them, the moment that I'm vulnerable with this person, they have the ability to destroy me. For some of them, they worry about leaving long-term commitments or long-term situations or going against their friends, going against their family and having this partnership. But because it being such a big change, they're worried with whether or not you can really deal with that or that if you really do want them. And if it's something that's very sincere on your end. But I get that this person is at a point where it's like they're tired of going back and forth. This is somebody who is always trying to, um, you know, involve themselves, uh, throw themselves into work. This is somebody who may be drinking very heavily um, in order to try to stop or repress the thoughts. But they're tired. They're over it it's it's this person stares at your pictures constantly and they focus on your eyes there's something very beautiful about your eyes some for some of you you may have very beautiful colored eyes for others of you your eyes are shiny there's something bright it's almost like this person can look into your eyes and they see everything there's a level of comfort and there's a level of understanding when they have this connection with you and for a lot of you because they've never vocalized or because they've never come out and communicated this to you, you would never know it. They hold a lot within is what I'm getting. 
I feel the chemistry between us. We need to trust that the energy we'll sh we share will bring us back together again. This is, this is somebody that's dreaming and fantasizing about this reunion, right? This is somebody that wants to come back together. This is somebody that's thinking very heavily about the two of you guys being together. Four, eight may be significant. 11, four, four, 11, eight, 11, 11, eight. There's something very significant here, right? But this is this person needing to put the work in, needing to put the work in in order to get stuck out of this rut, in order to, to process these fears. Because the one thing that's on the end here is union. So this person is thinking about union. They're mirroring you. They're having all of these romantic thoughts about what's holding them back versus what's pushing them forward. And the one thing about eight, the number eight, is the eight is infinitive, right? It's, it's infinity. And eight is a beautiful number because it's all about structure and it's all about change, emotional change, change physically. And I feel like the beautiful thing about chemistry is that you allow this person to tap into their divine masculinity or their divine femininity, depending on if you're a masculine or a feminine. If you're a feminine, you allow this person based on your energy, by you being comfortable with you, you allow this person to take on more of a masculine role. And by them taking on more of a masculine role, it allows you to feel comfortable with inside of your femininity. That's what the difference between chemistry and lust is. Chemistry triggers us to be our higher self, right? Lust is something that's very intimate. It's something that's very primal, very, um, you know, sexual, right? But the chemistry between the two of you, your conversations, the way that you guys are able to ping off each other, it's something that they've never felt before. And that's why I think this person is realizing that the two of you guys are meant to be together and that it's something more than just this lustful type of energy. It goes so much deeper than that. I want to let my guard down with you, but fear makes me lash out in defense. I mean, the one thing that keeps coming forward with this person consistently is fear. Fear is what's holding them back. They're scared to give to this, this situation. But now they're in a place, another 11. 7-11 may be um, a significant uh, day for you guys. 11-7. 8-7. 7-11. But this person is realizing this connection, that it's something very special and it's something very treasuring. It's worth treasuring. They understand you're different. There's something here about this situation where they know I have to take a risk. I have to expose my emotions to this person. I'm tired of playing games. I need to take my chances and just roll with it. Regardless of, of whatever this outcome is, this person is understanding that there is potential here between the two of you, and this is a faded connection. They may not know what happens next, but this is a situation that keeps coming around. And I feel like this person, they are gonna fight their fears. This is about them having this, this growth. This is about them realizing how different you are than anyone else. This is an eternal soul bond, and I feel like your energies definitely triggered this person to have this resurrection of who they were in the past. This is a rebirth for this person and it's destroying their insecurities. It's destroying the negative thoughts. It's destroying their past life with who they thought they were. Whoever this person is, they're gonna be going through a major tower moment. Like when we get into the tarot, I won't be surprised if the tower comes out here because there's something about this person where they can't handle it anymore. They're ready for this new era. They're ready for this energy. They're ready for this sense of alchemy, right? Alchemy to me is temperance, where it's the emperor and the empress that are being stripped of their negative qualities and being merged together as one, and they come out as one entity. The positives of the masculine and the positives of the feminine coming together. It's removing that overinflated ego with the emperor, the, the, uh, the need to control, the masculine doesn't need to control the feminine because the feminine is already in their own era. The feminine is working. The feminine is always a couple of steps ahead, right? Emotionally. But the feminine is providing that emotional stability for the masculine so that the masculine can 
really flourish in the energy, right? The masculine can go out there and do the right thing and move, you know, um, in tandem with the feminine because they know that the feminine energy, the empress energy is holding it down. It's providing a very safe environment and the masculine is able, right? To provide the protection for the divine feminine. Regardless if you're a man or a woman, energy is fluid. But both can go tandem, in tandem. They work hand in hand here. And I feel like your person is going through a major ascension. For some of you guys, if you guys were friends with benefits or just you guys started off as best friends, this person is, is, is really evaluating their friend group. They're evaluating the people that they're around. Things are looking very different to this person. Look at what we were just talking about. We are alchemists. We transform fear into love and shadow into light. This person is realizing that the fear that they have for you, it's really just this, this uh, high level of love that they can't understand and it's scaring them. The shadow aspects, they're realizing this is about perception. I can either see this in a positive light or a negative light, right? The Native Americans had that thing with the wolves, right? It's the wolf we feed. There's two wolves inside of us, a positive and a negative. Whatever we choose to illuminate, whatever we choose to focus on, right? When you focus on good, more good comes. This person is beginning to understand that. They're beginning to understand how to manipulate energy, but I feel like also in a positive way, how to transmute it. And another 11, a love like ours can change the world. See, this person is realizing, look at all these 11s, right? But this person is realizing how important this situation is. This person is realizing how much they miss you. They don't want to run away anymore. They want to stop. They're tired of running. Whoever this person is, they're tired of running away is what I'm getting. They're tired of like this wall that they keep putting up. It's like if you guys get close to them or you feel their energy getting close, for those of you guys that haven't talked to this person, it's like you feel like they're right there, right there ready to say something. And then immediately it's like you then feel that wall go up where you don't feel that person. This person is tired of that. I get that whoever this, whoever you guys are dealing with, they understand the significance of this connection. Whoever this person is, they are putting some work in here where they're trying to understand this connection. This person is trying to leave their comfort zone in order to be with you. This person is really trying to, like, I, I don't know why, but I get like this person is spending a lot of alone time where they're trying to really focus on what they need to conquer here, focus on, on, on overcoming this fear, going with the flow, right? Learning that they can command the energy and without having to uh, force it, without trying to have restrictions. There's a conclusion here coming pretty quick. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some type of major conclusion, like six, nine. I don't know why. But I feel like you're going to feel very relieved here coming up because this person, you're very emotionally connected to them and, and they're very emotionally intuitive despite whatever they've said to you. Whoever this person is, they're very intuitive and they feel very, very deeply for you and they're very sensitive. And right now it's like they're taking everything personally, extremely personally without you being, you know, a part of their life. Feel our energy merging together as if it has a life of its own. We are becoming one. See, this is showing you a progression of what's getting ready to happen. Right now, these are two people that are separated. These are two people that need to be in union with one another, but there's something that's stopping it. What's stopping it? It's the fear, right? You can take out any type of 3D obstacle. All obstacles are able to overcome. There's never a loop. There's never not a loophole, right? Whether it's a karmic, whether it's a, you know, an age gap or something that is not traditional in the eye of the world. Maybe you and this person don't feel like you fit with one another because you guys are complete opposites. Whether it's 
you're older, whether it's you guys are a different nationality or a different race, or just you're very spiritual and they're very religious, whatever it may be, none of that matters in the big scheme of things. And I feel like whoever this person is, they're beginning to understand that. They're beginning to understand that the only block that is created in this situation is them. But through this level of partnership, right, this divine connection, you can't tell me this isn't a divine connection. With all of these 11s, you cannot tell me that this is not a divine connection. And everybody knows it. That's what's even funnier. But people are jealous of this connection. Sometimes people don't want this to happen. But see, instead of focusing on what other people are thinking, you focus on yourself. You focus on where you're going and how you're getting there. And that's why there is this union that's coming. That's why this person is getting ready to leave their comfort zone because of you, because they want to be reunited with you. They're tired of being physically away from you. They miss you and they want to come back together. This is somebody that, again, look, if you take a look here, look at these two people. They both want each other so badly. For some of you guys, this person may be at a distance or there may be some of you where this person is locked up or they feel like they're locked up, where they can't come towards you in the manner that they want to. I need you to trust me and believe that I'm working on union towards you. See, this is somebody that is sitting here and all they're doing is thinking about you. And that kind of goes back to that mirrored energy, right? Where they want you. You're mirroring one another. You both want each other so badly. This person wants to be able to reach out. This person wants to be able to touch you. This person wants to be able to have this open communication with you. And, and I get that there's been a lot of silence for some of you guys, but this silence is allowing this person to really think. I feel like I don't deserve your love. I'm worried you'll leave when you see who I really am. See, again, another two. Two, two, two. Some of you may have been born on the 22nd or the 2nd of the month. I'm getting here with this, right? Whoever this person is, because of their past actions towards you, they feel very guilty for the way that they've treated you. And this entire time, I feel like in this, you know, 3D energy, they've always, you know, in their shadow aspect, they've never really acknowledged what you've said to them. They've always made an excuse why it was your fault. They never were able to truly look at things in your light from your perspective. So what's happening here is this person feels like you're going to leave them, like you're going to break the cycle, like you're going to move on. And this person doesn't want that. In reality, this person is yearning for you. They want more with you. And they know that they need to take this level of action. But I think that they have to resolve these past issues in order to have this ascension with you. They have to overcome these emotional blockages. They have to overcome this insecurity, right? This is insecurity. I feel like I don't deserve you. It makes me sad, right? For some of, some people are in the comment section like, they don't. They may not, but I feel like everybody does deserve love despite whatever, right? We all go through things differently. And sometimes I feel like if you and your person are not in union right now and you've been waiting, I feel like you've been waiting for a reason because this person doesn't want to come back half-heartedly. This person doesn't want to come back and do the same thing over and over and over again. This person understands that they have emotional blockages that they need to overcome. And this person admires you. This person, you know, believes you're somebody very special and you deserve the best. Whoever this person is, I do feel like they're going to be surprising you very soon. There's going to be an unexpected message that comes in here. Because this is this person's fear that you're too good for them. This is their fear that, that you're not going to want them anymore. Another two. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases the tension that sometimes there is when we talk. Because this person understands that there's a lot to say here, right? You have a lot to talk about, especially if you've not spoken to this person. 
So this person feels more comfortable when it's lighthearted because they're not being forced to really open up and communicate about what's really going on here. But whoever your person is, they need a level of support from you right now, especially energetically, encouraging them because they're awakening to this love. And I think that the thing to kind of like project into the universe is that it is safe for them to love, for them not to let their fear or insecurity stop them or get in the way of them giving and you, you know, receiving this unconditional love. What messages do you have for the collective when it comes to their person? The Wheel of Fortune. See, I got that very strongly. There's something here that's coming in and it's changing very, very quickly. 610 may be uh, significant or the 10th of the month whenever you guys are watching this. This is something that's destined. But remember, the Wheel of Fortune comes after the Hermit. It comes after this major deep soul searching that this person is doing, where this person is detaching from their 3D energies, detaching from thoughts, other people's uh, perceptions, other people's opinions, um, from work, from stressors, whatever it is, this person <clears throat> had to leave that in order to have this elevation. In order to have this spiritual understanding, there's movement coming with this Jupiter energy. This is something that's expansive. This is something that's changed. This is something that's destined. You guys, if you've been doing the work, right? When you've been working on yourself, if this person isn't giving to you, but you're very focused on your own self growth, what's happening here is karma is coming in and it's good karma. There's a brand new opportunity and this definitely is a turn of events is what I'm getting. There's going to be a lot of luck around this time also. A lot of luck pertaining to reunion, 10-6, 6-10. Maybe somebody's birthday, maybe born on the 6th of the month. This is a past that's coming back around and it's coming in very quickly and it's coming in when you least expect it. And, and this is almost like the universe just divinely guiding this person back towards you. This is a second chance at love. This is rekindling memories, right? It's this Scorpio energy. It's reigniting the past. This person is very nostalgic right now, thinking about the times that, that when you met one another, Las Vegas may be significant. Wheel of Fortune or gambling. This person may gamble. But I'm getting with this person, it's like they're having this newfound courage to move forward. They're having this energy here where they want to come forward and they want to communicate with you. What do they want to communicate with you? The fact that they love you. This person is in love with you. 6-6, six, 10-6. Six, 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 this is about partnership. This is a soul connection. Like I said here, with all these 11s and all these 2s, 2s are partnership, their love, their choices, right? The lovers is a choice. This is a crossroads. What do you want? Do you want to have a reunion with your person? Do you want to come back together? Do you want to come into union and have this beautiful sense of abundance? Because the reality is, whatever this person feels like they were going to lose prior being with you, whether it was they had um, assets tied to somebody, whether it's tangible items, whether it's people's perception or whatever, what this person doesn't understand is that when you're in a divine connection, when you're with your divine counterpart, God blesses you. The universe blesses you for, for fighting these demons, for fighting these insecurities, for fighting fear, for going with your heart and not your logic. This person is going to be blessed significantly. But see, I feel like you guys already know that because those that are watching this right now, you guys get it. You're at a much different elevation than I feel like other people are. Other people may think you're crazy, but that's okay because they're not living your life. But this is also why you're being blessed as well. There is a commitment coming in here where this relationship is becoming harmonized. This is something that's very emotional. Look, the four of wands. I mean, in the last, um, in the last uh, extended reading, the four of wands, the emperor, the empress, all these beautiful cards were here. You can't tell me that reunion isn't coming because it is. 
This is about a celebration. This is about coming together. This is about stability and stabilizing this partnership. This is about this person taking action. This is Venus and Aries. Venus and Aries is taking action, right? Communicating what action they're taking towards this lovers that's going to change the projection of your guys' situation. And again, there's a lot of prosperity coming from harmonizing this relationship, from reigniting the past. It's a turn of events that's changing everything. It's moving this wheel of fortune in the positive. And with this person, they know that if they don't make amends, that if they don't do the right thing, they're going to be sitting in this five of cups. They can have this beautiful energy or they can be in the five of cups. But I feel like for some of you guys, this person feels like they've betrayed you or they feel like this separation, like they have a lot of regrets for not moving forward with you, for not giving you the clarity, you know, on, on, on a third party situation, or this is just them not opening up and communicating to you how much they really do love you and how much they really do care. It's like this person knows the right thing to do, but they always fall back to this fear. But now here's the thing, right? With this Scorpio and Mars energy, this is a very determined energy to make it right. This person feels out of place now in a place where they used to feel comfortable, right? With their friends, with their family, hanging out, partying, you know, whatever. It used to be what they enjoy doing. This person doesn't enjoy it anymore. This person feels lost. They feel like, like they've changed forever. Their perception of things has changed. This is ending. Part of them is ending. The part of them that no longer belongs at this frequency is ending. There's a major transformation that's happening with this person where they had to go through this pain. They had to go through the hurt. They had to go through this unexpected loss, right? And that unexpected loss is ultimately what's creating this major growth and i feel like for some of you you had to block this person or you had to set certain boundaries here's what i'm going to accept and here's what i'm not but the other beautiful thing about this seven of wands is that these blocks these obstacles they're being removed and part of the reason that they're being removed is because the seven of wands again mars energy this is somebody that's fighting for their, their heart. I'm going to fight for what I believe in. I'm going to fight for what I deserve. And what I deserve is this person. I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be in a happy, healthy relationship. This person is being very defensive towards those that are getting into the connection. And they're very, 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 very territorial over you right now. If someone mentions your name in a negative light, this person is shutting it down real quick. Like you're not going to sit here and talk about them. That's one thing you're not going to do. This person is now taking the high road. They're no longer in this bottom feeding energy, right? The seven of wands in the traditional tarot is somebody that's up on top of a hill looking down. This person is now seeing why they were upset. This person is now seeing, you know, what needs to end in their life because the people that were around them were toxic. The people that were around them were unhealthy for them wanted to keep them sedentary, wanted to keep them constantly in this five of wands, always battling, always struggling, because that was a sense of control. Whoever this person is though, now they see what's really going on. Now they see why they were stuck. Now this person has this new energy where they're very determined to fight for their heart, right? Mars and Leo, I'm gonna do what I feel is right. Leo is all about the heart. And this person is very protective right now of you, I get. There's something that's going to come out here. Some type of communication that's going to come out probably pertaining to you or they're going to say something because whoever this person is, they've learned their karmic lesson and now they're ready to level up. Now they're ready to have this sense of acknowledgement, right? Because there's a level of vindication with who you are. All these people that wanted to throw dirt on your name or all these people that had something to say about your connection, you're being vindicated here 100%. There's something that's being majorly illuminated within this situation. If we just look at the major arcana here, the Wheel of Fortune, the lovers, death, the world, and the sun, right? Your love has changed them. 
but they had to end something that wasn't toxic. And you know what? You've allowed this person to see the truth. The world is seeing the truth. The world is being able to take off the rose colored glasses and say, I see things. You've created this awakening, right? Judgment is the awakening. You've illuminated that, but they had to see, see things from a completely different perspective. They had to see what they had to sacrifice. So that hangman energy that you guys were stuck in, this person is making that sacrifice. This person is having this unexpected ending. And with this unexpected ending that's coming, and for some of them, it may be a death of somebody or somebody may be getting very sick here. And I hope that that's not the case. Or this can be a metaphorical death. There's something here that's coming to an end that's changing the perception and the viewpoint of your person where they realize life is too short to be unhappy. And with this world in the sun, it's being illuminated. The truth is being revealed. This person is acknowledging I deserve to be happy. They're acknowledging that you're high vibrational, that you have a lot of truth here. This person is going to owe you an apology. There's communication coming in here from this person where they want to see you, they want to touch you, they want to be with you. Let's see things um, from their logical perspective or their 3D perspective. If you haven't already please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel i would greatly appreciate it all right guys how does this person view uh their relationship with the collective what is their perception of their current relationship with the per with, with the collective judgment i knew that was going to come out you know why because judgment comes out with the world judgment is like this aha moment this is like this whatever this judgment is it's bringing this person to their knees right in the traditional tarot, it's like the angel that's coming from the sky and there's this, you've done the right thing and you haven't. So either you're being blessed or you're about to be stressed. And I feel like with this energy, this is Saturn energy. This is Capricorn energy. This, this is somebody who's either done the right thing or they've not and they're having this sense of judgment. How do they view themselves in the connection with the collective? How does this person view themselves? And the beautiful thing about tarot, and I want to say this, tarot is really about reading the energy and knowing how to react, right? Tarot is an amazing tool for you to kind of pick up what the energy is, but also acknowledge the energy is always changing. It's always fluxing, right? And if you pull, let's say you pull for yourself, if you pull on this person and their energy is negative, sometimes they're going through something and it doesn't have anything to do with you, right? But sometimes it does. How does this person view themselves in this in this energy? How do they view themselves in this connection with the collective? Justice. Wow. Coming out strong here with two major arcanas. Impressive. This person is in a place where they've... Think about court, right? All the information, all the details, all the nitty gritty, everything is in front of you. You cannot escape the truth. Because justice is here. Both sides, both parties, both aspects, the 3D and the 5D are laid out in front of them right now. And they have a decision that has to be made. And they have to be responsible for whatever decision they make. What is this person? How do they view the collective? The lovers. Wow. This person is in love with you. Don't ever deny their love. Like I heard like somebody say, like, don't ever question whether I love you or not, you know that I love you. But then my petty side is like, but if you love them, then why are you not saying anything? But then I understand, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think having the duality, being able to see both sides of things, it makes things a little bit easier, which is honestly why I do kind of like the 3D spread. But this is somebody for sure that's in this place where they're in love with you. What's blocking this person? What does this person feel like is a block here for them? The Page of Swords. There's somebody that's watching, that's petty. There's a very petty energy here. There's somebody that's stalking and watching either everything this person does or everything that you do. And, and what is this person thinking about heavily with this collective? What is this person thinking heavily about with this collective? The Ace of Pentacles making you some type of offer. See, whoever this person is, they've been waiting for this. Look, temperance. I knew temperance was going to come out eventually with the Wheel of Fortune. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of Sagittarius energy. 
because this Sagittarius energy is needed for this person to say, screw it, I'm going to do it. I don't care, right? Like Sagittarius is a very free energy. It's like, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm going to do whatever is going to make me happy. So I feel like this person is coming into this energy. And what is, um, what is this person's next actions towards the collective? The star card. Expect the unexpected here. There may be some type of message that comes out of nowhere is what I'm getting. And, and, and what is their intentions romantically with the collective? Six of Pentacles wanted to come out. The world. There's something huge coming within these next, like, whatever's happening, whether it's on the 3D or the 5D, there's something major happening. Look at all these major arcana here. This is something where this person wants the world to know that you're theirs. And what's the collective's advice here? What's the collective's advice here when it comes to this person? The Three of Pentacles. Beautiful. So all of this is going to be available in the extended where we clarify each one of these. We pull Oracle messages. It's really great if you want to take a deep dive into your person's psyche. With all of these major arcana, there's huge shifts coming. There's something here with this star that's so unexpected, you're not even going to see it coming. And this person does want to shock you because it is the world here. And they're having this major judgment moment. So I'm so curious to see how they're viewing the situation. So if you want to pick up the Neon Awakening Tarot deck, that's available on my website. The link will be in the description below. If you guys want to check out the extended, click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you guys can purchase the extended. With that being said... I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. It means the world to me. And um, love is the highest frequency of all. So I feel like staying in a place of love, that kind of defeats any type of negativity. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.